Hi Owen, we are going to continue our investigations about sound and today we're investigating volume. And volume is simply how loud or how soft a sound is. So for example, <clears throat> I have a tin foil ball and I have a washer. So I'm going to drop them both and I want you to decide what sound had the higher volume or was louder. So here's the tin foil ball. So pretty obvious which sound was a louder sound. If you said the metal washer, you are correct. And probably what made that sound louder is that the washer is quite a bit heavier than the tin foil ball. So this sound is softer and this sound is louder. Okay. <clears throat> I also have here what's called, this is called a tone generator, and it has two dials on it. One is for pitch, and pitch is something that we're gonna talk about tomorrow, and the other controls volume, so how loud or how soft a sound is. This up here is the speaker, and I simply turn my gener tone generator on. Now it's already on. And then if I turn my volume dial up, the sound gets louder. And as I turn the dial down, you can hear that volume get softer, louder, softer, much like the, the volume dial on your radio in the car. Um, you can turn the volume up if you want to hear the radio or if you're trying to talk in the car or, or nobody's really listening to it, you, you turn it down. So we're going to be, I um, sent a few new materials home. Mom came and picked them up today. So they're right here behind me on a table. And the things that I sent were um, this pad. This is for the, the xylophone. The xylophone is made up of different lengths of metal tubes. And for today's um, lesson, you really only need one of the tubes and the mallet. You can also use this. This is your, your table fiddle, simply made with a block of wood, the plastic cup, and the rubber band. <clears throat> you can also make a table fiddle at home by using string. You tie a pencil to the end of the string and you use the um, plastic cup. And I'll show you how that works a little later. <clears throat> so let's think about our xylophone first. So you need the metal tube and it sits right nicely on this um, foam piece and then you have this that's called a mallet. So how would we make the sound? You would simply strike the metal tube with your mallet. Makes a nice sound. Now, how would you make a louder sound? If I make kind of a soft sound, how would I make a louder sound? If you thought, well, maybe Mrs. Esselman, if you hit it a little bit harder, it might make a louder sound. And it did. So if you hit it gently, it's a softer sound. And if you hit it a little with a little more force, it makes a louder sound. Soft, louder. So you can control um, the volume by just how hard or how soft you strike the xylophone tube. Now, what is making the sound? 
Is the sound coming from the foam pad? Is the sound coming from my wood mallet? Is the sound coming from the metal tube? It might help us to answer that question if we remember what causes sound. Do you remember? If you said vibration, you are right. So we have to know what is vibrating when we're um, using the xylophone. If you said that it is the metal tube vibrating, you are correct. When we strike that metal tube, it causes the metal tube to vibrate, even though we can't see it. It's moving so quickly, we can't really see it vibrating, but it is vibrating. That is the sound source. Those sound waves and vibrations travel to your ear, which is the sound receiver. It's receiving that sound and recognizing it. So when we strike <clears throat> the metal tube, the metal tube vibrates and those vibrations travel to our ear. Now how could we stop that sound from happening? We simply have to stop the vibration, right? So if we, and we cover it up right away with our hand, we stop that metal tube from, from vibrating and stop the sound. Right? So have some fun with that. Try making, um, try controlling the volume as you are playing with your xylophone. And you can use more than just one of the tubes. I just used one of them, but if you'd like, you can, um, I think there are five all together. Take out all five and you can try all of them. Um, some, I will tell you that um, over time, sometimes my, the top of my wood mallet, sometimes they come off. It's okay. It just, just pop it back on. So if it happens, I don't want you to worry about that, that you did something wrong. Um, so try out the xylophone. The other thing that I want you to try out <clears throat> again is our table fiddle. Again, how do we make this create a sound? We create a sound by plucking the rubber band. Now on here, you really can see the rubber band vibrating. So you know that the vibration is coming from the rubber band. The sound, therefore, is coming from the rubber band. Those vibrations, again, are traveling to your ear your sound source. This is, or I'm um, sorry, your sound receiver. The rubber band is our sound source. So how can we make it a louder or softer sound? Think about that. If you said, well, if you pluck it harder, the sound will be louder. If you pluck it softer, the sound might be softer. Okay, so harder, pluck it really hard, pluck it kind of softly, a softer sound, louder, softer, louder. So give that a try. Try controlling that volume, making a softer sound and a louder sound. Now I did want to show you <clears throat> one other way that you could make a table fiddle at home. And that was, I took a piece of string and I tied it to the leg of um, this student's desk. And then I simply placed the string over the cup and this makes a table fiddle as well. And you can hear the sound coming from that. And again, how do I make it louder? or softer, louder, softer. So try if you are able to do a table fiddle at home or just simply use the, um, the wood block with the rubber band and the cup, that one is fine too. Just experiment trying to create different volume, loud and soft volume. <clears throat> All right, and then 
I would like you to complete this page that says changing volume. How can you make loud and soft sounds with the xylophone? Write your answer. And how can you make loud and soft sounds? Either the table fiddle that I showed you or um, the table fiddle. So I just dropped my cup. The table fiddle made with the wood block. Either one is fine with me. So whichever one you use, um, tell me how you made a loud and soft sound with both of these. You also have um, a sheet called Sorting Sounds by Volume. So if you want to take a piece of paper, uh, label one side um, loud and label the other side soft. And then if you cut these pictures out, sort them into what you think is a loud sound what you think is a soft sound. And then you could take um, pictures of both of those and send them to me. I'd like to see how your experiment went or how your investigation went. I hope you have fun with um, this investigation and I look forward to seeing what you found out. I will talk to you again later. Bye Owen. Have fun.